Welcome to our season preview for the DeKalb County High School Tiger football team. Tom Duggan for DTC Sports, joining head coach Steve Trapp as we get ready for the 2015 season. Coach, let's talk about the season somewhat. I know toward the end of last season, you had some injuries and things that uh, sort of, I guess, left you not quite finishing the way you would have liked to. However, still a postseason berth last year. And it's gotten to kind of be commonplace. The goal each and every year seems to be the playoffs for the DeKalb County Tigers. Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, that's the next step in our tradition that we want to achieve is, you know, when they think about the Cab County football, we want people to think about a playoff contender each and every year. You know, first time we've ever been four times in a row. Extremely proud of what those guys, they, they really had to fight and battle those last few weeks of the season in order for us to achieve that. Uh, but yeah, injuries last year and the, the nine years previous to last year, I, don't, I, I can't recall that many surgeries or that many injuries to key guys. I mean, we had 13 seniors and it seems like half of those guys at some point uh, were injured or, or their seasons were ended. But uh, still just kudos to all the guys that hung in there and battled. We had to win those last three games in order to get in. Ultimately, we did that. We finished second in the district, so a good finish there. But, uh, you know, going to the playoffs with a, a ton of sophomores starting against the Signal Mountain team really didn't end the way that we wanted to. But, uh, you know, we're primed and ready with a lot of juniors on this year's team. So, and they got some experience because of those injuries. So we're excited about the 2015 edition. Well, I was going to say you lose those 13 seniors, but a lot of youngsters got a chance to play last year. And so you really seem to be blessed with some experience at, at various positions all around the field. Well, I, I, the key component with that experience, I think, is in the spots that we really need it. Anytime, uh, if you look through the history since we've been there, anytime we've got experience back on the offensive line and that quarterback, you know, we, we tend to have some magical seasons. So, uh, you know, we've got three returning starters there. They were all sophomores last year. We got our quarterback back. Uh, and, you know, r the way it looks right now, we may not have a senior on our whole offense. So the next two years, our offense, you're going to hear a lot of the same names now. You know, we've described them as a team that has to prove their capabilities. So it's a potential team. Uh, we feel very confident in their potential. They have to get on board with what it takes week in and week out to prepare to play every Friday and be successful. Uh, but we're really confident in the guys we've got on the field. Getting back on that offensive line a moment, you talked about some experience there, but you've also got a lot of size and strength yes. there, and that certainly is going to be key for success on offense this season. Yeah, definitely. You know, we've got uh, you know Luke Green, uh, Eli Cross, and Devin Zadarico, who were all starters last year as sophomores, and and Zadarico and and. Uh, Cross even finished the season as freshmen uh, as starters, so they've definitely got some experience uh, due to injuries. No green come in there early in the season and played phenomenal for us last year, and he's put on a lot of size for us. But uh, as far as size up front, uh, this is probably the first year where we've been somewhat consistent. You know, we're going to average, you know, 230, 235, 240, 62 across our offensive line, uh, and usually we've got a 180 in there somewhere. But uh, you know, so we like the size of these guys, and like I said, they're all juniors. Uh, not a senior up front, so we feel that we can get them bigger and better throughout the season and going into their senior year as well. Well, someone certainly happy about that is your outstanding junior quarterback, Stephen Jennings, and he gives you multi-thread. He can run, certainly can throw, and just high football IQ, young man. Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, his arm has been there since he's been a freshman. He's gained 20 pounds in two years, so I mean, he he looks better each and every year as the as the physical part, so he's, he's fitting that mode and that picture of, uh, even better as that quarterback. Uh, you know, everybody probably thinks of him as somebody that can just sit back there and throw it, but you know, he rushed for 800 yards last year and still wasn't really consistently calling him to do that. But uh, he does uh, a lot of good things and his maturity and what he's done so far this preseason, he's looked different than he has these first two years. Just that first step quickness, the ability to break tackles is there more this year than it has been. And that's just a natural progression, uh, you know, with all of our players. So we're really excited for the potential that he has. Uh, but he understands, as well as the rest of our team, that ultimately nobody can be successful without all the other guys on the field. So we're just excited about the whole group and the potential that they have for the success this Let, season. Let's talk about those weapons Definitely. around him, the folks that he's going to have to, to utilize and, and th getting this offense on track this season. Yeah, they're all new. I mean, uh, you know, last year we had a couple seniors, you know, uh, AP and Munoz who had really good years for us. But uh, like I said, Matt Poss, uh, like the, he, he's a kid that has the chance to produce more for us than anybody on offense defense special team so uh, he's a kid that uh, you know I think I've described in a, a preview earlier this week that he could potentially kick one in the end zone get an interception 
return it for a touchdown, <laughs> return the kickoff for a touchdown, <laughs> uh, catch a touchdown pass, kick the extra point, uh, and then also a field goal before halftime. You know, that's a potential for him. He's that type of kid. Uh, he works that hard at his craft, so we're really excited about him. But uh, on the other side, we've got Isaiah Jones, who got some reps there towards the end of the year, especially in that playoff game when Munoz got hurt. Uh, has the potential, has the speed. Uh, and, and then our, our slot receiver, Bradley Miller, a sophomore, you know, coming in, has done a really good job. Uh, and then at our other slot, you know, we've had A.J. Mooneyham there, and, you know, he's coming off a of labrum surgery. So uh, probably just going to limit him to one side of the ball and then personnel packages on offense, just use him in certain areas. You know, we got Christian Pruitt. Uh, who played there a lot last year. So uh, they've got some experience, but they still have to prove themselves and what they can do. And like I said earlier, we feel confident that they can. You were talking about some of the young kids that you had that finished the playoff game and certainly a, a tough, tough task going to Signal Mountain to wrap up the season, especially with the injuries. Talk about the kind of character that built and how the team has managed to springboard from that through the spring and summer workouts. You know, with them young guys, you know, one thing that we talked about and hopefully they felt is that it's different being a sophomore playing against some juniors and seniors, you know, that's been playing all year because I mean, really, that was a lot of our JV team Monday night guys that had to finish that game or go into that game. We had five sophomores starting the whole year on offense, but we got to that game and had eight. Uh, you know, so they do have some experience. But hopefully one thing we've been talking about this whole offseason stuff is just that hunger. You know, you, you have to be hungry to play this sport. You can't walk out on this field and, and not have that type of attitude to be successful. So, you know, hopefully with the way that game went and how much more physical that Signal Mountain was than us, that, uh, you know, we worked harder in the weight room, which I think we did, and then we just attacked what we need to do in a more physical manner uh, and a hungry attitude out here on the field. Talk about that commitment to the weight room, and I know that's something you've emphasized your entire yeah. tenure here, and certainly the programs I've seen around this area, DeKalb County, puts as much emphasis on strength training as any I've seen. Uh, well, I mean, it's just a very key component. I mean, it's a year-round sport. I know we come back in January right after Christmas break, and it's five days a week, and, you know, we put a lot of time in. Just a lot of credit to Coach Shaw this year. Uh, you know, we was researching a lot of stuff over Christmas break. We was all looking at the same stuff and, you know, really just flat out told him, hey, if you're looking at the same things I am, I'm going to give the weight room to you. And, and he's done a great job. Our routines have been different, but I think it's something that's been very effective. Uh, you know, he takes care of in there, and then I take care of the conditioning part on the outside. So just teamwork right there. And, and, you know, he's done a great job, and our kids have done a great job with it as well. Mention Coach Shaw. Let's talk about his defense and what to expect from them this season. Yeah, I mean, he just gets more and more comfortable in that role each and every year. And, uh, you know, just he does a great job with it. I mean, he prepares like no other. He really has uh, these guys in the position to make great plays on defense and it comes down to them doing it you know we tell them all the time we're going to put you there you know you have to make that play but you know he puts a lot of time in just like all the other coaches as well and he does a tremendous job of getting our defense ready and prepared for each and every week coach i know this time last year of course you're preparing for the season but in the back of your mind was knowing that there could be some changes coming to the district alignment mm -hmm. certainly there were but i think DeKalb county and many teams in this area felt fortunate not much changed mm -hmm. you added grundy you added sequatchi but certainly still a lot of familiarity in terms of the district yeah definitely uh you know we were right on that line to where we thought we were going to go to 4a and then all those predictions predictions which that's where we were but those predictions had us really traveling a long way to some new teams and things like that so we're excited to be able to stay with these same teams and stay in this this district and this region and be in 3A. So, you know, there's a lot of competition that's happened over the last few years, and that's just going to continue to happen. And, you know, Sequatchie and Grundy, you know, coming into our district, I know we played Grundy back when I was in high school and, and things like that. So hopefully we can get that competitive spirit going with those guys as well. And we're excited for the new district and, uh, you know, ready to make our names in it as well. Well, the goal certainly for the, for the team this season, certainly get to the postseason. You'd love to win the district championship. The prognosticators are looking at Upperman maybe as leapfrogging into the number one spot, but I don't think there's a lot of confidence because of what DeKalb County's got coming back, uh, what Upperman does have coming back, but teams like Smith County, I think there's a, it looks like a good competitive yeah. balance. It should be an interesting race this year. Definitely, and I think there's a lot of unknown for us, and rightfully so. Like I said, we've got a, a, a lot of new names coming in, but we feel really good about them. I mean, Smith County was, they had a lot of injuries last year. They're going to be a very competitive team. And then, you know, Upperman, everybody talks about their numbers and what they have returning and things like that. So uh, we feel that it's going to be very competitive. And that's something that we talk to our guys about, that when you have this type of district where there's a lot of teams that may be somewhat equal, that, you know, that, that mental edge could be the difference of winning and losing a ball game and ultimately taking away from your season what you want to accomplish. So, you know, we talk about the whole thing, mind, body, and spirit, you know, weight room stuff 
preparation, game film, and then we also just talk about that mental edge, that hunger that you need to have to come out and play with each and every day. Well, Coach Strapp, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your busy schedule to talk to us, and certainly good luck throughout the course of the season. Right, no problem. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right, Coach Steve Trapp of the DeKalb County Tigers getting set for the 2015 season, joining us right here on DTC Sports.